top 6 building transitions inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm having two media files on my timeline which I'm used for example. Go into effects then video transitions then you can scroll down until you find the folder fusion transitions which is right here. And the first transition that we're going to preview is this transition which is called box twist. You can simply grab it and leave it in between your clips. Now I'm going to preview what this looks like. It's nice and smooth box twist and when you highlight it and you open the inspector tab from here, you are allowed to modify it and in this case you can increase the amount of twist. Right now we're having 4 of them and also you can increase the amount of zoom in and zoom out. Let's zoom out for example like this and let's preview it. A nice 4 twist with zooming out. Now let's look at another transition, this is box wipe right here, this is what it looks like. Nice box wipe with blur in back. You can again go in the inspector, you can change the border color, right now it's reddish, bluish, let's leave it like this, light blue, press ok and then there's further options down below, you can increase the amount of blurness from here and bring that you can increase the amount of blur width and also reduce it if like. When everything is done, you can go back on top of this transition in here in the inspector and you can choose the position either on the top side, bottom or center. Moving on with the next effect which is this circle spin. I'm grabbing it, leaving it in between. Let's preview it now. This is what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward and very handy. I'm highlighting it going in the inspector and you can increase and decrease the amount of zoom scale that you're having and also the soft edges making it even smoother. Now let's preview and move on with the next transition. Our next transition is called Disarrange and I think this is my favorite one. It is something like automatic particles on your videos combined into a transition with a spin on it. When I go over my transition, I can go in the inspector and again on transition, you can reduce and increase the values of and also the display scale changing the in and out scale of these particles. And just beneath that, there's a camera angles with a drop down menu. If you press it, you can see there's a few more options for like vertical, horizontal and a few more options. You can also increase and decrease the amount of glow that you're having from a glow blend and also a glow scale. So next transition is called page curl and now I'm adding it in between and I'm previewing it. So now it's going to curl our media from the bottom right to the top left. And when I highlight it and go in the inspector, I can have a few options in there to customize. The first one is choosing the roll amount, pretty straightforward and you can see why. And next up is the shading, you can increase and decrease the amount of shading that you're having in between those transitions. And our last transition is this tile wipe, let's preview to see what it is. And as you can see it is zooming in and out, making a hundred of mirror reflections on our medias. And again, we can customize that as well, having a few options here in the inspector. We are allowed to set our spin, choosing from which side we want to spin and add a motion blur. And also you can check out this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. I'm showing some more effects inside DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.